just like my my daughter. We did EBO2, we did sauna, uh, we did gut binders, activated charcoal binders, high doses of glutathione. And over the next few weeks, we slowly walked, uh, you know, this mold right out of her her system. But people suffer from this all the time. In fact, I've been deep down the rabbit hole of a lot of the foundations of these autoimmune diseases <clears throat> because in my previous clinic we had 150 160,000 patients come through our our clinic system and nearly everyone that we saw that had an autoimmune disease was told by their doctor uh, you just woke up one day and your immune system went haywire Right, so you, you have Crohn's disease because one day you woke up and your immune system is manufacturing antibodies to your colon. Or you have hypothyroid because you woke up one morning and, and um, your, your immune system is manufacturing antibodies to your thyroid. So yeah, now you have Hashimoto's or the lacrimal gland in your eye and you have chagrins or you know, your blood, you have lupus. And we immediately just assume that God made a mistake, that the immune system is malfunctioning. Instead of taking, taking a step back and saying, you know, what if actually the immune system is acting properly? What if God didn't make a mistake? What if it's attacking the colon for a reason? We just have to figure it out. And if you just eliminated four things, mold mycotoxin, heavy metals, viruses, and parasites, just those four categories, I believe that you would get to the majority of the genesis of of autoimmune diseases. So, you know, some of these autopsy studies on multiple sclerosis, for example, were... Um, a hundred percent positive for certain colonies of helminths, um, helminths, helminths, which helminths. are parasites and, and, and these helminth colonies or, or, or the larvae from these were actually in the myelin sheath of 10 of 10 autopsies that they did on multiple sclerosis patients. And I'm not by any way me 